So I want to add a bit of fun to the gameplay. One way to do that is by adding enemies, certainly not the only way, but that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to have a guy up here who's going to just shoot stuff at me. Um, so let's find someone to shoot stuff at me. Uh, we're also going to make him move around a bit, um, only in a very boring kind of backwards and forwards kind of way. Uh, but that's fine because we know how to do that already. Um, in the same way we know how to shoot things already, so we're actually reusing a bunch of knowledge we already have. So if I edit behaviors on him, add a behavior. Um, so we've got this sign movement to move him. He's going to just move side to side. Um, I used it before for the platform, moving up and down. Uh, also going to make him fire a bullet. Uh, that will work just fine. Um, we're going to add another behavior in a moment to kind of time the bullets, but I'll talk about that when we get to it. So that all works. Drag Captain into the scene. He's going to shoot some stuff at us. In fact, one thing I need to add is something to shoot at us. So let's go into here. And I think this spiked ball will be perfect to shoot at um, the player. So the event sheet. What we're going to have in here is um, uh, let's just do it one way and then we'll improve that in a moment. So I'm going to add an action which is actually not going to be, you see how I've got no condition here. Um, we'll talk about that later. It just means that for the moment it's going to fire every frame. So Captain is going to fire a bullet towards a position and he's going to create um, the bullet on himself. So captain.x and captain.y is where it gets created. The bullet object is going to be the spiked ball. The target position is the player. In my case, that's big guy dot x and big guy dot y. And uh, speed of the bullet, uh, speak something really arbitrary. 400, I think, will just work fine. So let's just see what that looks like. I don't see why that wouldn't work to some extent, although I don't think it's going, it's going to have its issues, which we will resolve as we um, improve, which is how we do all, all programming. We just start, make sure something works, and then we keep improving it as we go along. I'm waiting. There we go. So the, uh, yeah, the pirate guy is shooting a lot of stuff at us. Um, couple of issues that we should note. So firstly, he's shooting too much. And secondly, he's shooting above our heads. I think what this is, he's shooting like at the top left corner of um, the, the sprite, um, because that's how you specify the position of this sprite. And uh, yeah, that's why it doesn't look very bad. So we'll fix that. So at the moment, it's shooting towards big guy dot X. Uh, let's change it to big guy dot center X and big guy dot center y center y that'll probably look a little bit better um, so this thing where he's is just shooting incessantly we can go and tweak this uh, in his behaviors so in his behaviors the fire bullet we've got a cool down already on that uh, but i feel like it's kind of inefficient because this fire event is happening every frame like 60 times per second um, and it's only when the cooldown allows us that we're actually shooting a bullet. It doesn't feel like the right way to go about it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another behavior. Um, in here, we've got this uh, repeat every X seconds behavior. So I'm going to install that in the project. And we're going to use that to just trigger the fire event. Um, repeat every X seconds, apply that to our guy. And we're going to repeat every, yeah, one second is good. Okay, so in this event sheet now, instead of just having no condition here so it fires every single time, we're going to add the condition that um, it's going to be the captain, repeat every X seconds, and basically that just makes it work through. When the repeat timer triggers, then we fire the spiked ball. So it should be firing a spiked ball once a second and it should be firing it more towards the middle of us although i still think that might need a little bit of extra tweaking we shall see imminently so there comes one and there's another one and it is a bit more at us so i guess that's uh, an improvement yeah you know if, and then as you're running around 
um, it's kind of hard to tell anyway. So in the next video, oh, we did, did we, ch we didn't even, I'm not even sure I showed you that he is moving backwards and forwards. And of course you can change how fast he moves and how much he moves and all of that kind of stuff. So in the next video, um, we're going to make it so we can shoot him. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to make it so he's not like a one shot. He's going to take three hits like, and have health as it were, so to speak. So next video.